In this film we want to just do a quick visual of the select and mask tool so in other words to give you an idea of what you could do with the likes of hair if you need a, a quick composite perhaps for web doesn't need to be too fine detail and so on but still uh, deliver a decent job. Um, so for me um, let's go a little bit old school so we'll go up into select and go into select and mask at this point we've got options uh, for the different kind of opacities uh, over on the right hand side we've got the different viewpoints here I'm going to choose um, on black for now so we can see a little bit of her and then on the left hand side we can see the tools palette this is the uh, quick selection tool and then we're going to be using the refine edge brush when we come back in but for now with the top um, icon selected just select a little bit and so almost draw it and then it kind of analyzes what is around and then from there at least it's uh, uh, kind of making some intelligent decisions for you so uh, we've got other things within Photoshop which select subject and we do a very very similar job and things really um, but again I just want to as I said go a little bit old school with it so with this done uh, pretty much we can leave it as that for a second and we're going to output this as a layer mask so as soon as you kind of bring it back in as the layer mask here you can see straight away it's changed itself from a background layer uh, and locked now to actually an open kind of layer with a mask on now obviously the mask we've created is is wrong we want an inverted mask so to do that to show the subject up click onto the mask just go to control i to invert that and pretty much we're we're, we're close still a bit of issues here to do with the uh, blue through the actual hair there or the gray i've lost a little bit of fur on the actual feathers i'd like that as well a little bit more de uh, detail on the hair lose some of this coloring frid uh, fringing just around this side remember it is just a quick fix that we're looking at as far as a uh, kind of an overall effect is concerned uh, you might need to actually go in and spend a lot more time so let's give ourselves a little bit of a background color so let's just uh, click on to the background and let's just go and choose a shocking uh, color for now create a new layer fill it alt backspace filled fills that with a the color then drag it below our background and pretty much we can see that the cutout is not complete yet now to refine it we're going to just select onto the mask go back up into select select and mask and now we're going to choose the second uh, icon down which is the refine edge brush tool and all we need to do is keep uh, the cursor within the actual hair itself so in other words that crosshair that's the part that needs to actually stay in and then we can actually just make a brush smaller or bigger to start to paint in and out the different levels of, de of detail that we want in here. Uh, don't worry too much if we kind of overspill. Um, we can always uh, go back into the mask quickly in the likes of um, Photoshop and actually just paint that back to black as well. So keep in the cursor within the hair color that you want and then just allow it to actually go outside. That's why I said the forehead, I'm not worried about that, we'll paint that back in a minute and then just once more just keeping within that hair just done it on the cheek as well I'm not bothered release the cursor on the mouse and just basically now start to actually paint in the texture of the feathers and so on with it let's do it across here as well make sure we've got that bit of hair and then if we just press OK it doesn't uh, create another layer mask because we're working on the mask anyway so you can see it's still the same mask there uh, and it's done a much better job on the hair except we've got a little bit of a problem up by here so once more we're just going to hit D for default and uh, keep in white on top remember white reveals black hides I can just go ahead straight away and oops went a bit too keen there Mark and I can start to actually paint in the detail that I lost uh, as it kind of overlapped itself just go in and just smaller brush now and just paint that little bit of hair back in as it got a little bit lost there and you can see within a, a few minutes uh, we've allowed ourselves to um, kind of get a pretty good first kind of cut out and if uh, we were looking to let's say add a hue and saturation on there uh, if we're looking at an album design and it's going to be quite small or it's going to be for web you probably actually get away with um, just uh, working in this way so I'm just going to drop that hue and saturation down and then all I'm going to do here opens up the prop property box and then I can just go ahead and actually move the hue and sat uh, the saturation 
lightness and dark darkness depends on the kind of the look that I want and obviously I could even go in and add a background layer on or a totally different background but that is a really quick way if you're just looking for a quick fix to actually do something different within a photograph.